future financial experts. Welcome back to Cora's Financial Literacy Channel. Today, we're diving into the world of setting financial goals. And more specifically, we'll be talking about the importance of setting specific and measurable goals. First off, let's make sure we understand what a specific and measurable goal is. A specific goal is one that is well-defined and clearly stated, so there is no confusion about what you want to achieve. A measurable goal is one that you can track and measure, so you know when you've achieved it. A good goal is like a treasure you want to find. But, for the treasure to be yours, you need to know exactly where it is and how you're going to get there. That's what a specific and measurable goal is all about. A specific goal is when you say what you want to get, exactly. For example, instead of saying, I want to save some money, you say, I want to save $20 by next month. It's like giving a map to a treasure, so you know exactly where it is. A measurable goal is when you can track how close you are to finding the treasure. For example, if you want to save $20, you can count the money you save each week and see if you're getting closer to $20. It's like keeping a tally of how many steps you've taken towards the treasure. When you set a specific and measurable goal, it's easier for you to see if you're getting closer to your treasure and you'll feel proud when you finally get it. So why is it important to set specific and measurable goals? Well, when you set a goal that is specific and measurable, you give yourself a clear target to aim for. And when you can track your progress, you'll know when you've achieved your goal and you can celebrate your success. Now let's get into some fun. Let's play a game called Goal Setting Challenge. In this game, you'll write down a specific and measurable financial goal that you want to achieve. It could be anything from saving a certain amount of money to paying off a certain amount of debt. And then, you'll come up with a plan to achieve that goal. The goal should be something that you can work towards over the next month. This is a great way to start setting specific and measurable financial goals and to start taking control of your finances. And who knows, maybe you'll even be able to achieve your goal before the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll be back Monday with another financial literacy video. See you then.